Hey Pisces, hi babies. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, this is your love reading for June, June 2022. <clears throat> for a specific group of Pisces only, whoever would resonate. Thank you so much. I am using my Golden Thread Tarot deck, which I have never used on YouTube. <laughs> they are beautiful. They cost me a good penny, like almost 50 bucks. They're gorgeous. I mean, let me see. Golden Thread Co. Yeah, here it is. All right, Golden Thread Tarot. I think it was like $48. Beautiful. Beautiful cards. And because the other ones I was using for Scorpio and Cancer were too big and I can't even handle them with my tiny little hands. Okay, but this is for <laughs> this is for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what comes up, Pisces. Love energy is coming in for Pisces for June 2022. I hope you guys are doing good and surviving Mercury retrograde so far. Because Mercury brings in X's. And there are a whole slew of other things that happen during Mercury retrograde. But I won't dive into that. But regardless, June. This may even have something to do with June. Because Mercury retrograde finishes on June 2nd. But there's a two-week shadow before it. And a two-week shadow after it. Where things can also happen. And X's can show up, etc. So just, you know be aware Pisces so let's see this is a general reading thank you Pisces for being here for clicking on my video um let's see what comes up love anything about love my spirit guides for Pisces sorry I just hit the screen Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus thank you thank you so much all righty let's cut the deck over her and then See what's up with Pisces. Who could be coming in? What's happening? Ooh, death card. It's a transition, baby. And that's a good thing. The shedding of the snake skin. Can you see it? Whoa, that looks nice, right? Oof, sexy. And then we have the lovers. Yes, Pisces. The lovers card. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I feel like there could be a, a friendship first and then this is the transition from a friendship to a loving connection. And then the Nine of Cups. Yes, it's a wish fulfillment. Pisces, very sweet energy. I really like that. Gorgeous cards here. Oh, great. So the Nine of Swords. <laughs> You may have been worried about this connection, Pisces. Something may have bothered you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You see, that's why I couldn't do my readings before. I'm still doing them now because I feel fine, but I just have a nasally shite hang hangover. Yeah. The Magician card. Well, you're manifesting this and you have been manifesting this connection. So let's see what's going on. It may be a Scorpio. It may be a Gemini. It may be another water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Well, that's Scorpio too, duh. But it may be an air quality, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then the magician has one of each. Like the magician is, you are manifesting what you want, Pisces, and there's no holds barred here. Yep, and you're gonna get the shocker of a lifetime. So apparently, you may know this person, and then what can happen here, Pisces, is that you know this person, your friends, and then they tell you that they like you more than friends, and they want to be more than friends. And you're pondering about it, you're thinking about it, you're like, holy macaroni chicken nugget, what is happening here? Right? Look at the bottom of the deck. I really don't do, the, do this. I don't do the bottom of the deck with this reading major, at the majority of the time. But when I'm wondering what the heck is on the bottom of the deck, I say it, it's the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is like, you get confused about this. This may be happening now to a certain group of Pisces in their love connection, in their love life per se. So you may be confused and you're like, what the heck just happened? Somebody just, you know, my friend just told me that they like me more than friends and it would be their wish fulfillment. And that's the shocker here. 
this is how I see this. Like, this is the shocker with the tower card in regards to, holy shit, I just got this information and they just told you this. So just be aware because they're manifesting you and you've manifested it, whether you like to believe it or not, but I know you do. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then you had maybe a lack of sleep over this, like holy mackerel, or maybe they did in regards to coming in and offering you love because they were worried about what you would say. So I know this is for June. Let's see what happens, guys. Maybe you already know who it is, a friend. Maybe it's a friend that you already know that maybe has a little bit of a crush on you. But just heads up, they're going to come in you're going to have the shocker of a lifetime and they're going to be like, listen, I've lost sleep over this Pisces. I really want to be more than friends. I love you. You are my wish fulfillment. And this is something that I've been manifesting and maybe you have also been manifesting this Pisces just, you know, unknowingly, spiritually, this union must happen and it would be a beautiful union and you wouldn't have to be wondering who's coming in for you, Pisces. Mm hmm This is really sweet. I really like this. <sighs> because it has to do with love. Somebody spilling their heart out and telling you that you are their wish fulfillment, man. This is really beautiful, Pisces. So if you don't go for it, just let me know and I will. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that's it. Pisces, your reading is short and sweet and awesome. What a beautiful reading. But heads up, it's going to be a shocker. Like when it happens, you know. That's about it. So Pisces, yeah, I have $25 readings. If this did not resonate with you or would you would like your own personal reading, please reach out to me, celiastarot at gmail.com. I also have a Spanish channel, Lecturas del Tarot con Celia. Um, that would be awesome if you go over there and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Please hit the thumbs up little thingy here on my video. And that would be awesome. It does something to the algorithm with my videos. And subscribe if you have it. That would be super cool. And I love you, Pisces. Let me know in the comment section below if this resonated with you. I can't believe I've never used these cards. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.